This video is sponsored by your mum. <laughs> Yeah, man, some of purples, my name is Bless Beats. I was getting ready to drop a little surprise bomb on you today, but hey, hey, hey. Seems like the Easter Bunny came through. Machina 2.15 update is here. We're gonna go through quickly the new shit, and then we're going to go through the auto sampler. Number one feature, we now have an automatic backup. I didn't realize that we didn't have that before, but now come to think of it, a couple of times it's crashed and I have lost projects in the past long time ago. So that's a good thing. Number two, chord inversions. Not quite what the people have been asking for. We want the custom chords, you know what I'm saying? But that is a welcome addition. We're gonna do a separate video covering that. Number three, we now have VST3 support, and this is for the machine to plug in not supporting vst3 plugins in machina native instruments plugins that are vst3 already supported by machina and they're going to be apparently working to get the nks supported plugins working with vst3 within machina also but this is about the machine to plug in being a vst3 i'm sure some people are waiting for that so welcome addition right there and saving sounds with samples which i'm going to show you after we go through the auto sampler also a very welcome addition you could do it with groups before never really worked that well and you can save samples with the project but you've never been able to save the, s the sound with samples i didn't realize that neither but that will come in handy now especially for the people who own the machina plus because that's the main purpose of this i guess sampling sounds from you know processor heavy vst plugins and plugins that are not compatible with the standalone machina plus first we're going to load up a plugin with the sound that we want oops no that is the wrong one let's go with the far light this shit would never load up on the machine plus This sound right here kind of evolves. Let's see how the auto sampler handles that. I'm thinking the more complex the sounds are, the more rhythmic elements, the more morphing and shit going into it, it's going to be a little bit more complicated for the sampler to handle it because we have some automatic functionality that comes with it. Once we have a sound setup that we want to sample, we can just hop into the sampler and right about around here where you have your different recording modes, you are going to set this to auto. This is the new mode right there that we have. First two settings you want to pay attention to is the sample, and the note on note on let's take that first because that is how long you hold the key down or how long the computer ordinator device holds the key down for you so right now it's going to take one note it's going to press the key down for two seconds it's going to let it go and then we'll keep sampling for three more seconds because we're sampling in five seconds in total you with me now all right let's hop to the next one input this is what you would do just as your regular sampling if you want to sample from an external device using a midi to trigger these notes you would have it set to external mono or external stereo right there but now we're sampling from plug-in meaning we want to sample internally okay and this is where we choose our input where do we want to sample from we're just going to pick the sound where we put our vst instrument on great now this next setting right here note map this is the range of the keys you want to sample to so starting at c2 right now this default setting is, is c2 i think it's c3 c3 that's just one um a note really that gets extended but i want to sample it from i want to be able to play it from c2 to c6 at least all right now the stride setting right here this is how many keys is going to hop before sampling the next note right now it would sample every single note between the range of c2 to c6 all of these octaves you know what i'm saying so this is 12 semitones per octave right right so that means you're going to be doing a hell of a lot of samples that is up to you how how high resolution you need and sometimes it's a case by case thing if you have for example a, a synthesizer sound that has some rhythmic elements where the rhythms it's a it's an even and clear rhythm and you can hear it that rhythm is going to change speed unless you are between the keys unless you actually sample every single fucking note in there so it's a case by case thing if you have a, a, a fairly straight tone just uh something that is easily loopable and it will sound seamless you're better off you know sampling maybe you could do sometimes stretch it as far as only two samples per octave we're gonna do a little bit more frequent than that let's uh 
sample every third key. I think that is going to do it for us. Okay, next one right here, velocity map. This is the same as a note map, except it's how hard you press the key. So if we set the stride to four on this one and do the very lowest velocity, it's somewhere there and somewhere there, you know what I'm saying? Set this to four. This means that first sample is going to hit it very softly. Velocity 22, soft. Next one, little, still soft, but a little bit harder, soft. Next one, a little harder, harder. And then the, the last one, really hard, like as hard as you can play the key. This sample, in this case, it doesn't even matter because it's not velocity sensitive. The sample right about around here that we're working with, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter how hard I press it, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to keep the stride at one right here and uh, the velocity, we just bump it up to 127. That is always the maximum velocity in the MIDI worlds. Uh, keep the extend on and this is something that you want to probably do and I'm hoping that the auto sampler does well finding the loops when you're manually sampling stuff this is what is very one thing that is very time consuming taking every single sample and finding the perfect loop in there so I'm hoping that it does a magnificent and massing job and I will be very pleased with this auto sampler let's try finding the loop you can trim the silence if you want to you can normalize it Typically, I would not normalize multi-sampled sounds because depending on the sound, some frequencies, um, even though on paper it's normalized and at the same volume, some frequencies sound like they are more fierceful, more powerful at different pitches. So I would just leave that up to the original sound and say we don't need to mess around with normalizing it. I would rather just put a compressor on the sound afterwards in that case. All right, let us see what the magic does. Oh, beauty. All right, all right, all right, there we have it. We have all our multi-sampled samples spread out across the keys automatically. I have a keyboard right here. I'm gonna play it. <laughs> automatically looped. Sounds pretty all right. When you play it polyphonically, when we play several notes, play a chord, a chord. You can still hear that it's looped and it is a sampled instrument. I find it quite charming, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't really worry about that. I'm just happy that you can do this automatically very quickly. And now that we have that, we can rename it. Of course, as with any uh, sample, you can change the right now when I press down the key and let it go. It doesn't really ring out. We can just change the envelopes right here to our liking. Go mess about with the LFOs. All our brilliant sampler settings that we've always had with the machine, we could do right there. I'm very happy with that. Now that we have our sound, we can right click it and save with samples. Poop. Say you want to transfer this to your Machina Plus right now. You need to move both the folder containing all of the samples and the actual sound file. Just copy those onto USB drive or to the user content uh, uh, folder on the SD card. Voila, so you can load it up. All right, thank you for watching. That is surely a pretty useful update, especially for the Machina Plus users. Maybe not so much for the regular MK MK3, my peoples, you know what I'm saying? My purples out there with Mark III. Maybe you're not terribly excited about this one. There's some other stuff that we would rather see. But I do appreciate this little update. Make sure you check out my latest beat tape, Magic Cabin. Magic Cabin. <laughs> Join us in the Discord, the Black Hole, for weekly beat challenges. Check out the Machine Noobs Mastery School if you want a full-fledged course on how to use the Machina Mark III or the Plus without even looking at the computer screen, handle everything smoothly as a god straight from the device. 
and uh, what else yeah if you want to support me on patreon please feel free to do so stay tuned for some very exciting secret drop very soon okay bye bye